Seven food items that are set to skyrocket in price in fall and winter of 2023. Let's discuss. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano. Today, we are drinking the original Donut Shop Blend coffee made by Green Mountain Coffees. One of my favorites. Found it on sale the other day. Picked it up. If you have to hit pause to get your coffee together... Hit pause on this video now. This will be a bit of a lengthy dis discussion. We have a lot to talk about. I have come up with seven different items that we are already seeing go up in price. But I think it's going to get so high, it's going to virtually become unaffordable. Our number one already is meat. Meat. Hamburger. Now, we've seen a couple sales on hamburger over the last week at Kroger, but... We've seen other places where hamburger has skyrocketed. We're seeing hamburger at Meyer for almost $8 a pound for 85% lean. Not even the ground sirloin. I mean, this is this is crazy. I mean, Meyer has had some good sales too. Um, but we can't forget about some of the things that are going up in price. Number one is it has to be meat. We get comments on meat products all the time from all around the world and how expensive it is getting. Now, we have a couple things coming up here that I wanted to discuss right away. One, uh, in part that has to do with food and farmers in case of a government shutdown, which is looming for October 1st. This is a time when farmers work out deals on the markets to get loans for their crops and different things. This is right around the time where they, they sell off their crops and stuff. And this could prevent a lot of loans and stuff in the market from getting done. So hopefully if there is a shutdown, hopefully it doesn't last too long because this is very important for farmers and very important for you as well. Because if they can't get their money, if they can't get the things that they need to get to get done, I mean, it's going to get crazy. If it isn't already. I mean, it already is. Farmers are already hurting enough as it is. Government needs to get it together here. They need to, I, I, I don't know. I, yeah, that is, that is set for another story. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of this coffee so I don't lose it here in the first 20 seconds of this video. There we go. Okay. Now, um, I know a lot of people have been talking about that on the channel, how, how this could really hurt farmers if there's a shutdown. And I did a little bit of research and yes, it looks like it really can, especially like when it comes to loans going to uh, different agencies to try and get your money for your crops and stuff like that. Who, who has the best, uh, who, what's the best sellers market right now? All these things come into play, right? Feel free to leave your comments down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We do these videos every day to try and help keep you in the know of everything going on. Uh, we do a lot with food. We are in and out of the grocery stores, different stores every day to try and help save you as much money as possible. Now, number two, not too surprising here, chicken. Chicken is one that I have noticed personally has been going up in price in a lot of different stores. We've noticed where the cheapest around has been going up in price. Heritage Farm, which is owned by Kroger, theirs has been dramatically going up in price. I mean, it's not even near the sales that it was like a month ago. Now, included in that, I have eggs there as well. Now, Kroger also... Had a good sale on eggs this week. 18 count eggs, digital coupon for 99 cents. Um, I think they should give everybody that deal, not just people that are doing the digital coupon. I know one of our longtime viewers was kind of ranting a little bit about that, and I agree with you. I agree. It's, it's digital week here at Kroger, right? So unless you have a smartphone or a laptop or a computer and you're doing all this work yourself... Um, you're not going to get all the great savings that are at Kroger this week. And part of the reason, I know we have a lot of new viewers, one of the reasons why we go over Kroger so much here in Cincinnati is because it is our biggest grocery chain here in Cincinnati next to Walmart. Um, and it's one that we can compare a lot of prices because there are a lot of Kroger-owned stores all throughout the country, like Mariano's, Food for Less, Fry's, Harris Teeter, uh, Fred Meyer. I could go on and on. King Supers. I mean, so many of them are owned by Kroger. That's why we uh, dive into a lot of the different Kroger deals, uh, because usually there's a lot of similar sales, like the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal, things like that. We're able to compare a lot of prices. Also... You have until Tuesday 
Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023, to get those 99-cent items at Kroger. And I recommend getting on top of it. Uh, it's a lot of, lot of good deals. I don't think we're going to see a sale like this for a long time. I think this is the deep breath before the plunge. Speaking of plunges, this is one that I'm a little... Uh, don't really know about this one. Number three on the list is chocolate. Okay, chocolate, cocoa seems to be an issue. Is it an issue around here? Absolutely not. They were saying this last year. We didn't see any shortages of chocolate. I remember Reese's came out. I covered it for like a, a few different videos and there was no shortage of Reese's whatsoever. Uh, there was one person on the channel here who said they went into a store and couldn't find any Reese's um, and that was out in Indiana. I've not sure what store it was. I think you said Dollar General. Um, but you were, I, I remember you were able to find some later on. Um, the thing with chocolate uh, apparently is shortage of employees and uh, ingredients. Which, what's one of the big things going on right now? What is the biggest shortage that we've really been covering over the last month here on the channel? Sugar. This wasn't an issue last year, and, and the, the telltale sign of this really is sugar has been skyrocketing in price lately. We've seen store brands go really high up there. We've seen them increase well over a dollar, and that's just the increase. We're seeing four-pound bags of store brand sugar for well over $3 now, which is very unusual. That's because of a shortage. So, the whole thing with chocolate, sugar, and all the different ingredients and stuff, that makes a little bit of sense. I was a little funny how they were talking about the shortages on employees because that's pretty much everywhere right now. Uh, I got a lot of this information from Eat This, Eat That website. It's called Eat This, Eat That.com. It's really interesting how they put together a lot of these different things. This is where I got most of them. That's where I got the, the chocolate thing. Some of these are kind of my own. And you guys, of what you guys have been talking about around the country, this is why this is important for us to, if you see something, say something. If you see a massive shortage in one of your grocery stores, like on pasta, I think we can all relate on that one. Um, let us know. Let us know. Abbreviate what city and state you're in so that so that your neighbor knows. You know, it's, it's good to get the word out there so at least we know the, the things that the next time we go to the store, we may need to buy one or two to make sure we have it. Uh, pasta is on this list, but we'll get that to them minute number four frozen foods okay now this is a wide variety of things but this is a wide variety of things that are disappearing as we've noticed over the last few days i went to walmart today spoiler alert for tomorrow's video make sure you subscribed that video will be up tomorrow morning at 8 30 a.m eastern time saw a lot of price increases at walmart just a quick spoiler there. Um, and I didn't cover a lot of the frozen foods. I, I went over like some of the frozen potatoes. Uh, Orida is very low. The most expensive one doesn't seem like it's coming in. What does that tell me? Oh, it's probably going to be going up in price again. They have plenty of great value fries though. What I did notice, but I didn't get on camera. I, the video was done. I was already well over an hour worth of footage. And I was like, you know what? I'll just go back to Walmart. We'll check it out in a week and see what it's like in a week to see if maybe they've refilled some of this stuff. Lots of vegetables missing. Lots of frozen vegetables. They had the cheaper ones. They had the cheaper 98 cent bags. But a lot of the bigger ones weren't coming in. A lot of empty boxes. A lot of frozen fruit missing. And I wonder if that has to do with some of the prices that Walmart has had on their um, fresh fruit. Because their fresh fruit's getting way overpriced. I mean, you're, you're paying more for a lot of produce at Walmart than you are even at some other places. So again, watch that video tomorrow morning. It's very interesting with a lot of the things that have just boomed in price. I mean, it's just crazy how much Walmart has raised their prices just over the last few weeks. We saw this happen in Florida. At first, I thought it was Florida that the prices were just a little higher. No, they are the exact same now here in Cincinnati, Ohio, as they are in Florida. Even the, from the sugar to the cereal that we checked to uh, even the, some chocolate that I went over. But I don't think like candy bars and stuff is like the stuff that's constantly going up in price. Um, and, and they use the same excuses of, of employee shortages and all that stuff. That's why I wasn't really surprised to read that in that eat this, eat that website. It's an interesting website though. You should check it out. Um, we've noticed frozen meals. Frozen meals seem to be flying off the shelves. Now you guys have left a lot of comments on this 
of some of your frozen meals that you really love, like different Stouffer's meals. Uh, I know we have a longtime viewer that loves um, the family size Stouffer lasagna. It's been kind of missing in action lately. Um, and different uh, Boston Mark Boston Market. I, I don't get them. I don't know. It's like one day it'll be gone, and the next day there'll be a few of them. But we're seeing different types of meals disappear like they're not making certain ones anymore we've seen pizzas pizzas are starting to disappear as well now it's hard for me because I, we don't buy many frozen pizzas but when you look at the aisles now i can tell there's stuff missing if you can help me out here let me know down in the comments if you know any pizzas that have just stopped making them now i know there was that one from uh canada they stopped making them about seven or eight months ago it was the delicio delicio pizza uh they stopped making that um also around that time stouffer's came out and said they were canceling a couple different items but um anyway i've noticed that a lot of different frozen pizzas are missing the regulars are there that i always notice anyway like red baron jacks tombstone DiGiorno. but there's a lot of different fancier style pizzas or even maybe some of the cheapest ones that have been flying off the shelves i've noticed the kroger brand pizzas are hard to keep in too but we've noticed a lot of Kroger brand products that uh, haven't been coming in lately. Uh, somebody asked about the ranch dressing. Well, we know the deal with Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley is with Clorox. Clorox had their uh, attack, cyber attack thing, and it's just destroyed their whole system. Um, and they're not able to get in a lot of their products. I did see a couple, like two or three things at Hidden Valley Ranch at Walmart today, but they're pretty much out of it too. Um, and I won't go into any more spoilers at Walmart. I don't like to ruin everything. But as far as frozen foods go, we're seeing more and more products that are flying off the shelves. As we saw in a couple other stores, we saw a lot less of those Amy's meals that I know a lot of our viewers like. The frozen Amy's, organic Amy's frozen meals. Seeing a lot less of those. Now, you know, with some things, we're going to see some stuff come back in at a higher price. We always do. With other things... I don't know if they're just canceling them or just not getting them in anymore. I, I don't know what's going on. Anybody has any answers, let me know. But we're not really finding a lot of information online about this other than ingredients as an issue. They're not able to make these kinds. So if there's one that has been discontinued by either Stouffer's or Healthy Choice, Healthy Choice was one of them. They've, they've had to stop a couple of them due to ingredients. And I know Stouffer's had come out a few months ago and they were saying they were having some major employee issues seems to be everywhere i've been seeing new now hiring signs being popped up all over the place meyer has now hiring signs literally all over the store they have a big huge banner we're seeing more now hiring signs being popped up everywhere so i don't know guys i don't know um I never really know what the issues are. From what I understand, a lot of the grocery stores around here have been paying a lot more money, so I don't understand why why somebody wouldn't want to have that job. Uh, maybe they need a new way to uh, bring people into the store to work. Maybe there's got to be more incentive or... I don't know. I don't know. I only want to talk about the good things here and not all the bad things of why people don't want to work. Um, so moving on to number five here. Wheat and grain products. We knew this was going to be an issue. I've been saying it for months. People said that Ukraine and all that wasn't going to have any effect on the price increases. And it still may not. But I'll tell you this much. Ritz, wheat thins, crackers, saltine crackers. We just saw saltine crackers at Walmart go up to $1.74 a box. Okay, so whatever excuse you want to use, whatever it is, it's going up in price. Now, online... They'll tell you that it's because of the Ukraine and Russia thing going on, okay? And and it may very well be. It may very well be. Bottom line is, price is going up. How do we get it down? We saw where Aldi just raised theirs, uh, their saltine crackers to $1.49 from $1.29, right? 85 cents last year. So that could be an issue. Could be. We're seeing cereal uh cheerios we've had a cheerios run i don't know what's going on with that we keep getting more and more comments that cheerios are just flying off the shelves uh they can't get them in i don't know what it is could it have something to do with the wheat and grain i don't know ingredients ingredients i don't know um and then, and then in the other hand we see kroger come to the rescue with big huge boxes of uh cheerios for three dollars and 49 cents on a digital coupon right 749 regular price though you know they want you to get that for 349 that way you want to get that box again and realize that it is still better than paying $4.50 for a smaller size box. 
I don't know. I don't know. And that's not really trickery. That's just smart, smart business on them, you know. But, and I understand there, there does come a point to where it's like, well, at what point do we stop selling this product? If the cereal gets to $10 a box, who's going to buy it? I'm not, I'm not paying more than, I'm not paying more than $3 for a box of cereal anywhere. I get my Raisin Bran at Aldi for $2.15 right now because it's on the Aldi Saver deal. Two thirty five regular price. Still better than anywhere. Two sixty seven for great value Raisin Bran today. People are saying that Walmart's cheaper than Aldi. Uh, some things. Okay, next on the list, um, we have rice, dry beans, canned goods, and pasta. Now, why are these all grouped together? Good question. I will try to answer it. These are probably some of the most commented things on our channel of things that are to go up in price. And this is why I kind of grouped this all together, because these are also things that I have not seen go up in price yet but we know it's going to. There are major shortages of pasta. Massive. We've had hundreds and hundreds of comments of people going into their stores, not being able to find any store brand pasta, and people basically buying Barilla because they have no other choice. Now, don't get me wrong, Barilla spaghetti is really good, but it's $2 a pound, you know? And Kroger, I mean, it's a dollar third. It's actually 99 cents right now. That's what I was talking about earlier at Kroger. Like, I feel like Kroger has just put this out here this week to show that they can be competitive with everything. Now, we'll see what it's like next week. I believe that it's going to be some good sales next week, too. I've seen trends with Kroger, but watch out for the end of October. Watch out for the next few weeks. Watch out when we are starting to pack up things for Thanksgiving and Christmas foods, okay? Because that's what we saw last year. Now, I'll admit, Kroger did not have these kind of sales last year. At the beginning of October into September, the, it was terrible. We were in that just raising up. It was like every day prices were getting nuts. I mean, we're still there, but at least it's kind of spread out on different products of things that we can always buy the cheaper brands if we have to. Uh, we have noticed dry beans go up recently at Kroger and some other places. Haven't really noticed huge price increases on rice yet, but it's coming. It's coming. The more shortages that we see on rice the more you better believe the prices are going to be going up. Now, we've had comments of some more runs on rice. Um, it's always traditionally the same areas, and that's kind of why I think, okay, there might be, because because I know when rice starts to fly off the shelves in certain spots, because it pertains to a lot of people's diets, right? If it's in one area where a lot of people eat rice for their main meal, well, that's where you're going to see a lot of the shortages. That's where you're going to see the huge influx in prices, usually out in California. We've had people chime in, in from New York, right? New York now, New York City, where they're uh, getting hit with a lot of price increases on rice. No shortages, but price increases. Shortages come next, right? I feel like this is kind of like the opposite. I feel like this is the opposite because we're not seeing the huge... This has just been a couple months ago where we've seen bans on rice, export bans, stuff like that. I know people say that's not going to affect us. No, it absolutely is. Absolutely is. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't. I mean, you know, if it doesn't, that's great. We're most definitely going to see price increases, though, on some of it. And I would just, you know, just be mindful of that. If you use rice in your everyday diet, you may want to consider buying up something. Don't panic buy. I feel like I have to say this in every video I do right now. Um, we never encourage panic buying. Be smart. Rice, at least here in Cincinnati, it was cheap. It was, you know, not as cheap, but a, an okay price down in Florida as well. We had just gotten back from Florida down around the Orlando area and the rice at Walmart was pretty much the same price as it was up here. Now I didn't focus on a lot of the different rice up here today. I had to focus on a lot of other things going on like cleaning supplies and stuff like that at Walmart. Uh, we've been hearing baby formula uh, things again so I wanted to make sure and check that out. Somebody left a comment about uh, cat food the other day. I wasn't able to get to that at Walmart today, but I will be checking some pet food. Um, haven't had any comments on it lately. When we don't get comments on these things, I try to focus on the things that you guys ask about so we can check those things to make sure they're coming in, check the prices on those. And if we're getting, if we're not getting any comments on something like pet food or baby formula, I usually put it off to the side for a little while to focus on these other things going on 
And then one, it, it seems like once we get one or two comments on pet food, then we'll start getting flooded with it and it becomes a thing. But I will check on it uh, at Kroger tomorrow. I am going to Kroger Marketplace. So number seven, and this is one we've been talking about, and this is one that's pretty much painting its ugly face everywhere, potatoes and onions. Onions are skyrocketing in price. Potatoes have already skyrocketed in price, but they're not going anywhere. They're not going down. They're not going down like we expect them to. Now, we have had some viewers uh, talk about where there's been some amazing deals on potatoes across the country here. I notice it's right in the southern part of the United States. Some people were talking about uh, one of our viewers in Texas, um, Alabama, or yeah, Alabama. Uh, and then there was another one. Might have been Arizona. I don't know, but it seemed like more the southern U.S. So I don't know if that is the issue. Maybe here in the middle or Midwest here and north, maybe maybe we're just paying higher prices for it right now. Hopefully your prices stay low, but our potatoes seem to just keep going up in price. We're seeing locked in low prices on potatoes at Kroger, and we all know what that means. You see locked in low price at Kroger, that usually means... Price is going up. I've been seeing some of that at Meyer too, and I don't like it. I don't like Meyer when they when they put low price on things. They're doing the Kroger thing, and I don't like it. I think that's that's not good by Meyer. Anybody working at Meyer, anybody listening out there, tell them to take that down. You don't need to put low price on it and then just raise the sticker. Do something more creative. Don't follow Kroger. Just be like, hey, these prices are going up soon. Buy now, you know, or I, I don't know, try to form that into one word or something. But we're noticing the same trend now at Meyer that we have at Kroger for the last 20 years. You know, I do like how Kroger does that. Like they've also incorporated like, uh, like gas points. Like they'll have a bunch of stuff, anything that's on a uh, low price sticker, you'll get gas points. I don't know if that's going on right now. I don't think so. Uh, but sometimes they'll do that. And I think that might be to kind of take our minds away from the fact that the price is going up on these products after they take the stickers down. Nine times out of ten, that's what happens. That's why, that's why I always bring it up in the videos. Anytime we see inconvenience stickers, well, even if they have the product in there, I, I don't I 9.5 times out of 10, that product's not coming in that next week. Once that last bottle's gone, it's probably gone for a couple weeks. We've seen products be gone for months. Remember spaghetti last year? Anybody remember? No, it was about a year and a half ago. Spaghetti wasn't coming in. Pasta. It's like the same thing now. I would say now is not as bad, though, because it's not as affecting, like, all the spaghetti. It's just the store brand this time around. But another thing I wanted to mention here, too, uh, a bonus, as you will. Uh, so that was our seven items that are going, going to be consistently going up for whatever reason. Employee shortages, transportation, ingredients, not being able, you know, the chicken thing, I feel like this is kind of like a lag back from months ago. Where I saw egg prices go up today. Uh, did I mention that already? I probably did. I was at Walmart. Egg prices are going back up. You guys have been talking about it. You guys have been saying it, and I, I just noticed that today. Notice it. Not like what it was. Don't freak out. Uh, it was, you know, just... Check the video out tomorrow. There's a lot of little things that we're seeing go up at Walmart, which I don't like. Uh, nobody does. Nobody wants to see price increases. But the one thing that really got to me today, you know, I knew some of the things at Walmart that were going to be really high priced. Okay. Lots of the produce. Okay. The apples. Apples. It is fall. It is fall. Apples should be dirt cheap. You could probably drive down the road and pick them up from an apple tree. For free, right? You know, or I, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. You know, some of the apple prices at Walmart are ridiculous. They're ridiculous everywhere. We saw where Meyer just raised their prices to two nineteen a pound. Some of them even more. Now they did. Meyer was selling the three pound uh, Michigan Gala apples for two ninety nine. I almost bought them. And I remembered the two bags that I bought at the beginning of summer when they were $2.99 and they were virtually tasteless. Now, I, I didn't get a bag at Aldi the other day, but you can tell the difference. The ones that Aldi are getting, those are delicious. I'm going to say those Gala apples, they are fantastic. Uh, my mom really likes the red delicious apples from Aldi. So keep that in mind. We love our apples. Um, and it doesn't look like there was really any sales on Kroger 
other than honey crisp apples there, there was a, a couple and we're going to check out more of the produce tomorrow at kroger because i didn't get a lot we were at the neighbor smaller neighborhood kroger yesterday so i didn't and and they were putting a lot of stuff away they were putting up stuff so i didn't get a good look great deal on strawberries strawberries been out of season for what i don't even know how long but they're selling them for two dollars a pack right 349 regular price but you can get them for two dollars right now at kroger that's a good deal it's a good deal there's some other good deals too which we're going to go over um wanted to bring these out here to you most of these are from the eat this eat that website i love that website um but as far as like the rice and dry beans, canned goods, stuff like that, these are things that I've kind of just been calculating from what you guys have been talking about. So number six on the list is uh, we've heard some price increases on rice. We've seen price increases on rice, but this was really before the ban. So I don't know. It's a, is it going to happen again? I don't feel they can sell it for much more than what they already are. It's already expensive. There's been several price increases on rice and dry beans over the last year or two. I don't know if people are going to really buy it if it gets way too expensive. Kind of like eggs. Was anybody out there paying $24 for 60 count eggs? I was looking at the 60 count eggs at Walmart. Little, little, I'll just give it away. Uh, <laughs> I think it was uh, six, six seventy eight. I think it was. Hmm. It was six seventy eight. Well, they were Five dollars and sixty-four cents for a sixty count, and today they went up to five seventy-eight, six seventy-eight, and then I, I go on a little bit like, well, remember when these were twenty-three dollars and seventy-two cents? Sixty count of eggs back in mid-April, twenty twenty-three, at Walmart was twenty-three dollars and seventy-two cents. So when I look at that price of a dollar more, I'm like, well. It's it's not that bad, and knock on wood, it doesn't get that bad. But I'll tell you what, I mean, the, the thing with the meat, seeing a little bit of a deal at Kroger doesn't give me much hope because I feel like a lot of people aren't buying those tubes of meat at Kroger. I don't I don't know. It's like every it's been a long time since we bought them, but I know when we did, it was like they just weren't any good. The quality wasn't good. And you want quality and you go to Meyer. well, I mean, <laughs> it's like $7 a pound now. You can get a little bit of cheaper. I think the, I think the 7327, I think that's, I think it's a little over four ninety. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a while since I checked. The last time I checked, it was four ninety nine a pound, but uh, it might be more than that now because the sale they had, I'm focusing really just on the sales anymore, guys, because I'll tell you what, if it's not on sale, it's unaffordable. It's unaffordable. I mean, a lot of this stuff is just crazy, but we are going to continue the journey to help try and find you the best products possible at the cheapest prices possible. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this coffee rant expedition tonight. I'll tell you what, it's I tried to put together the ones that not only we get the most comments on, but ones that we're seriously going to see more price increases and possibly some major shortages. So I don't want to see guaranteed shortages because... I don't think we're going to see shortages on chocolate or chicken or meat. We may see some shortages on meat. That that may happen. Um, but as far as rice, I do believe we will see some uh, pretty big shortages. I think we're going to see shortages on potatoes and onions, too. They're getting to the point to where it's like, I'm not going to pay $4 for a three-pound bag of onions at Walmart. We can find them cheaper other places, though. We saw the three-pound bag of uh, sweet onions, yellow onions, at Aldi which they dropped their prices back down to 219. So hopefully, hopefully Aldi is going like looking at all the stuff going on. It's like, you know what? We're going to outbeat Walmart and all these other places in this. Drop the prices a little bit. I saw a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes at Walmart today. Just the regular old russet potatoes, not the bacon for $6 and 38 cents. Aldi's $5 and 49 cents. They just lowered their prices another 50 cents. So I don't know. I'm done rambling guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, just take this for what you will. Make sure you're stocking up. Make sure you're stocking up. Make sure you're prepping, adding things to your stockpile to help save you guys money in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.